I'm a little bit addicted to ears and backpacks. I'll have to show you the next backpack. This guy, I loved this pumpkin guy. He came from Michael's, but we're gonna deck him out with all the florals from Kalees.com. So I thought this looks so cute with him. So let's get some florals that coordinate well with this and we'll go to town on this look. Let me put this in first. Let's get going on that. I'm gonna push this in and we'll get it all set up. Now this uh, container, it's kind of like a paper mache up here and it's heavy down here. So it's gonna have a nice weight. That's how it's looking inside, all right? I'm not gonna worry about moss or anything because I'm gonna put a little bit of our orange garland in there. And we'll use that to kind of go around and tuck in the edges. So I'm just putting this in. This is just going to kind of camouflage my greenery. Um, look at that. Look at that, isn't that cute? So I've used that like we normally would use moss in a regular floral arrangement, but this is orange garland. He's looking good. If you've never participated in one of our live sales, what I try to do different there is actually put a collection together to help you know exactly what matches. If you get this, it goes with this ribbon. I try to do that on the live sales. It just looks like his hair. And for us, it's serving as a uh, buffer between the container and the foam. The nice thing about that is I only have the investment of a small piece of foam in here. I don't need a bunch of other things. I can get to this foam from the sides. And then I have a little piece of garland. So that saves me right there. I'm gonna resell this. Got a lower investment in this part and it doesn't look lower at all, does it? I like the idea of the bow kind of just being chilling on his side over here and not really covering up his face too much, just like right in here. So I'm gonna wait to put that for a little bit, but we're gonna keep that in mind while we're creating our design. Now let me grab some of the cute things I wanna put in there. So I wanna kind of stay with the trend of the other ones we made. Now we've got two choice in pumpkins here. We could mix and match, but one's a little more vintagey looking and one's a little more beautiful looking on these. So I'm trying to decide, can I mix them or not? Let's start off with this chunky one. Let's add some other colors of orange and let me see if we can pull that off together. Isn't he gonna be cute? He's gonna be so cute. I love all this stuff. Like I never get tired of making Halloween. I'll still be shopping for Halloween at any store. Okay, I'm gonna push that in and that's gonna be my centerpiece. I'm gonna have that be his main stem in the center. We're gonna work from that. That in all around this. It's gonna be our main focal point we're working around. So let's get going. What I teach in Makers University is I teach at Etsy. Etsy is what I teach. That's my specialty. I also will do Q and A's regarding craft shows. Of course, I got 120,000 followers here on Facebook. We have a lot of Facebook strategy we can help you with, but that's what I do in Makers University. My florals design is all taught at KaleesDesignSchool.com. Uh, Makers University is where I teach Etsy. It's so fun to be um, involved in a community where we all work together. Even though, of course, uh, Damon and his whole team are direct competition to us, we don't look at it that way. We look at it as we are all a community, all helping each other to rise up higher and grow our businesses. And that is just a wonderful place to be. I, I, I treasure that relationship. Okay, I've broken this all up and we're gonna take and work it around that center, guys. When you're ready to learn more about business, there's more than Etsy in there. It's an all around business course to help you maximize social media and online sales for your business. Um, there's other support as far as craft shows, vendor markets, um, all that too, but they specialize in all this free marketing that you can do on social media to help grow your um, handmade business. I got that in so far. Let me show you guys. I got the berries going around the pumpkin in the middle. Remember, we're gonna have a bow over here, so I don't wanna go too crazy. I'm gonna keep this kind of flat. Let's go ahead and put the bow in. Let's tuck it in, and then I'm gonna work around it with some more of uh, the little berries. And I think we'll put in some of these. Um, uh, let's put in, maybe might put in some of these other striped pumpkins. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I got a little glue on that pin. I'm gonna pop this in here tight and we'll fluff it out. Oh gosh, I love that. It's like he's got a, a kind of like a side veil, you know, like a side piece for his veil over here. <laughs> going to the chapel and I'm gonna get booed. Okay, fluffing that all up. Let me curl these, get them going. Mm -hmm. 
so I got his bow in. I love this because it makes him look like he's got little curly hair over here. But I want to add a lot, of, a lot of berries coming out of the bow. I want to put some pumpkins over here. I've got more to do. It's going to be really cute. All right, I was debating, but I think we need these in there. I think they're just so fun. I'm going to cut some of these guys uh, down to get them a little shorter. We're going to use them in close to his head. So I'm just going to trim them down. I'm gonna put a little bit of these uh, striped ones here. You guys, design school is not necessarily just for people who have businesses. We have all kind of folks in there um, who some do crafts because they enjoy them. Some do things just for their house. Some have found a lot of stress relief or relief from grief or loss or uh, depression or anything that comes around in life that brings those things around. They found that crafting and creating and floral design helps them with that. So um, we have a lot of those type of people in our groups too. And um, wherever you are in your journey, if you just love this, it's fun. That's all that matters. And you just want to create and have a good time, hang out with people who like the stuff you do. Where, where are your people? We're all those kinds of people. So it's a blast. This is cute. I'm loving this so far. All right, let's put in, um, I got a couple more. I'm going to wait a little bit to put these in a last. Let's put in a little bit more of those berries because I think those are going to, I want to bring them in on the side over here. This is cracking me up because it looks like he's like one of those British attorneys and it's, you know, a barrister and this is his wig. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody away with the business part. I'm passionate about that too. If you want to go that direction, I will help you that way too, but that's not a necessity. What's a necessity is that you have fun enjoying creating things and getting excited about the next design. Uh, another great benefit of design school is when we have a challenge, it's no charge for you. What, what, what our challenges are is they're basically uh, private paid events that you come into and we're like intensively covering a technique, a design, always have bonus videos in there, but um, they're just like a big party. So it's fun uh, to come hang out and the replays are always available for you on that, but uh, design school members, those, those events are no charge for you. Okay, I, I shook hands and I fluffed it all out. Let's start to um, tear it apart. Let's put a few of these. I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. So I'm still going into that little piece of foam. I don't need a lot. I'm going to work my way around. Let me cut this one because it, look at, I don't like, no, no, no. We need you to be straight. Mm, no, watch that wig. We'll see it jiggle on that one. So I offer Etsy training just right now in Makers University. Yes. That's where I, I actually do a weekly Q and A and, uh, Damon does a lot of the recorded trainings, but I help questions and answers. If you are a member of design school, I also will answer business questions on Tuesday as well. So look for the post in there. I don't teach the process from beginning to end in design school, but I will answer your questions every week. In addition to what I do in Makers University, because that's a separate course. I really believe I'm all in over community, over competition. So we are all in design school to help each other. Um, in whichever way that is, it, can we help you find supplies? Do you have a question about shipping your wreaths? Um, how do I package it? Can someone help me on, you know, something I'm going to do a craft show or, Hey, I'm looking for pink pumpkins. Michaels didn't have any. Do you guys know where to find some? That kind of stuff. We help each other all the time. We also help each other when somebody's had a bad day and they come in and they say, I just, I just lost my husband or I, I, uh, can I get some prayers? I'm going through a tough time with my daughter. We all do that too. We care about each other and, uh, we'll support you in whichever way you can. We've had members in the hurricane. We've had members lose a grandchild. We've had all kinds of things like that. And you know, it's nice to be in a community where we actually care about each other. And we, I try to keep up with what's going on in your lives. There's a lot of you guys in there and that's, that's really another benefit of being with a like-minded community. You guys can always come hang out here with me free anytime you want. And in there, we just go a little bit deeper. And I, of course we have these deeper relationships, but we also have this passion about creating and it's, it's just fun to be together. All right, we're doing pretty good. I'm going to put a little bit more pumpkins in and then I want to work a little more berry into this bow, like soup up that bow a little bit more. 
but I want you to see how cute it is. Huh? Hey! I'm going to pull this one apart. I want to get these a little shorter and tuck in around that bow and around the sides. He's turning out so cute. I mean, I'm going to move his little tinsel out of his eye a little bit. There you go. Got to cut his bangs. All right, I'm going to put another little pumpkin down here. Okay, berry time. Let's put some berries. I mean, I'm going to try to get them in even between the folds of that. Okay, take a look at that bow. I've gotten all into that bow. Now, any kind of project that you do, you can do that. Work it in, cut those picks a little shorter, work it around the bow. I'm gonna put a little bit more pumpkins right here, got a couple more. We'll tweak it out. Let me tell you a story. Um, some of you may not know, but I was a teacher. I taught uh, PE and math, K through 12. I ended up getting a PE job and then only taught PE for a while. But during my student teaching, I was doing student teaching with a bunch of math teachers at a high school. And of course I was, you know, just a senior in college. I was very intimidated. And uh, I go and I'm doing my rotation first, student teaching with the PE teachers. And in the PE department, I feel like one of the crew they're so super helpful, supportive, they're lovely, and I, I don't think anything about it. So now it's time for me to do, after a few months, that I go do my rotation in the uh, math department. Well, I got into the math department and immediately was treated like I was going to take those people's jobs, all the other teachers. And one day I went in for lunch, and they knew that I wasn't, I wasn't, didn't belong. I went in for lunch, and the table was full. And all the people looked at me and were just gave me that look of, don't sit here, you don't belong here, you're not one of our people. And I mean, you felt it, you felt that feeling. And I, I'm just an easygoing person and I thought to myself, you know what, I will never, never treat people like that. I will never treat people like that and I will never, if I ever have a student teacher, I will make her feel so welcome and so taken care of. So, I, I almost broke down crying. I'm, it's a lot to make Klee cry. But I felt like these people are not even nice and I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm like just a few years older than these kids they're teaching. And that's the way they chose to treat me. And even my sponsor, she immediately went and ganged up with her friends and left me alone. So after that experience, even though I'm an adult at this time, I just made sure I'm not going to treat anybody like that. And, and I, to this day, I'm not going to treat you like that. I, I'm not going to make you feel excluded or left out. I want everybody to be a part and welcomed. So, you know, the moral of that story is when somebody treats you bad, maybe you don't react to it right then, but you take it and you use it for empowerment later. Like I'm doing now. I'm trying to bless the socks off these people that are blessing me. All the Blue Marinos here, all the KDS Blue Marinos, I'm trying to do all of that. And we're doing that, making pretty stuff. How fun is that? <laughs> Bonus! Look how cute he is. Check out the bow. Really, really cool. Y'all, so much fun. This is so much fun. If you want more information about Design School, there is a link there at the bottom. It's cleesdesignschool.com. We'd love to have you. Make sure on our text list, I'll text out when I'm live.
So I'll see you guys soon. Have fun with flowers. Bye, everybody.